don't see any other guests has to do dance movements. Oh, that hurts. Oh. You do a oh my, you do a car wheel. I think you got your butt out. I'll oh, never want to come to three masks. <laughs> Hello everyone, I'm Angelia Wong, a principal dancer with Shane Performing Arts. Here are the stuff that I can't live without as a dancer. This is everything in my dance bag. Ding! Okay, so first thing in my bag here would be, we call it the JFK. I think online is called a sauna pants. I'm sure all the ballerinas and dancers knows about it. It's a uh, pants helps you warm up and helps you sweat a lot. And this is like a onesie from top to bottom. I bring it everywhere, not just for dancing, sometimes for workouts, running and jogging outside. So this is how it looks. I have a jacket. It's made of this material as well, but it's still wet from the morning. It makes less noise. We've bought other brands before. It's like tsk, feel like you're wearing plastic bags. But this one is much less noise and more stretchy. Feels really good inside. So we can kick in it. Oh, that hurts. Oh. It doesn't make you feel restricted and it's very lightweight. <laughs> oh, yep. Done. Thank you. Okay, my next item will be the yoga round. I think people use this for workout. The previous episode we had for the dynamic stretching, they put it under their knee, like when they do this, so it doesn't hurt their knees or whatever. I use it mainly for stretching, because this is really soft and very portable. And a lot of these has different materials. This is the one of the best I've found, because as dancer, we have to stretch all the time. You want a good height for you to stretch on. There are a lot of the better heights has really hard surface. So we will put this on, very soft, very cushioned, so you can stretch on any kind of surface. And this, I also use it as a padding when I sit down through meditation. Sometimes the floor is really cold, so I will sit on it. It prevents the cold. Yeah, when I do meditation. This helps a lot. So sometimes we take naps in the theater and the floor is kind of cold. We would put this under our lower back or upper back. So this is how we use it. We just put it on any surface. This is a piano chair. Put it on and then stretch. And then I know some people, they don't really mind the heel part that's too painful. They will put it under their knees. Yep. By the way, this is the Three Musketeers 100th episode. If you want to support us, join our special 3M Troop on YouTube for exclusive content. The next item will be AirPods. I like to listen to the lectures of Valen Dafa. Especially in the theater, if you want to, before the show, when you warm up or you want to calm down a little bit, you can just put your earphones on. And then if you really want a quiet feeling, turn on the noise cancellation. And you can use it when you take a nap or just some peaceful personal time. Oh, I can't hear anything. Okay, so the next one will be my contacts. I'm nearsighted. This is a hard contact. Corrects your eyesight at nighttime during sleep. So I don't have to wear it during the day. The soft ones makes my eyes feel really dry, especially sometimes when we travel a lot. If you want to sleep on the bus or on the airplane, after waking up with the soft contacts, like it's really hard to open your eyes. These has been with me for over a decade. Expose my age, but yeah. I think having a clear sight it's very important as a dancer, at least for me on stage. You want to see the spikes clearly so you can get the right distance with your partners or all your fellow dancers. Also, I would like to see the audience reaction, especially during the curtain calls. You can see the audience members' facial expression. It's very touching for me. Next one, ding ding. Very compact and portable puffer. At first, I didn't really like this kind of style of clothing because I feel they're kind of like Sorry to say, but trash bag feeling. And they make sound like all the time. They're really wrinkly because I fold them up after I wear them, so I can carry them easier. These have been with me since 2017. The feathers inside are kind of worn out. <laughs> They're really lightweight. I will wear them to warm up. Sometimes when I sweat, it doesn't absorb the sweat. I will just like, ding, go off the jacket. 
So I wear these. And another thing about this is this little pouch. I use them as an eye mask when I take a nap. Normally when I take a nap, it's between two shows. And then you have makeup on. This is a really lightweight, so when you put it on your face, the makeup doesn't go on and then you don't feel anything. It's better than, especially for girls who wear like fake eyelashes on stage. With these, very good. I see people carry like snacks or their phone or even their dance shoes or hair clips, whatever inside. One thing serves two purposes. Another good part about this is the collar. And it's like stand up so it protects your neck as a dancer, I think. Warming up your neck is very important. Pockets on the side. And another thing about this is that there's like two pockets inside. Okay, they're not made for pockets, but you can put a lot of stuff in here too. Like thermos, dance shoes, phone, wallet. And then normally I just hook this on the side of my duffel so it doesn't take up the duffel space in the bag. Just hook on the side of your bag and it's very light. Another thing is knee pads. These knee pads are from our school. They're, I think, bamboo fiber. It's very protective, but also very soft. My knees get cold and it hurts very often when it's cold. So I have to keep these on all the time. And for some techniques that we need to do, this is thin enough to conceal in your pants, like costumes or dance pants, but they're thick enough to protect your knees. These can work as like a little padding when you sleep. You can, whichever part you are scared of cold. I'll put on my knees like this. It feels very warm. There's some move that you need your knees. Protect my knees. Okay, so movements like this. Normally we start with the fan shen. And it will be like fan hua. And then you go onto your knee like this. And you rotate. And then you do a, oh my, you do a car wheel. <laughs> I would never want to come to a three mask dance again. <laughs> You'll be kneeling on your knees like this, and then turn, and then you flip. And during the process, you have your knee on the floor doing this for a moment. So for me, I would just put the knee pads on when I practice. The last item in my essential list will be on my phone. I have a folder that contains all the lectures from Falun Dafa and the music for doing exercises and meditations. It's the most essential item. I carry it with me on all my devices. I am a Falun Dafa practitioner. I've been practicing since 2007. It has been a huge impact in my life. I know my life hasn't been that long yet, but just as a person and a dancer, it helps me a lot. The principle in this practice is truthfulness, compassion, and tolerance. In Chinese, it will be zhen shan ren. They have been lead me in many aspects. Sometimes when I encounter hardships, obstacles, stuff that's hard for me to go over, and these three words guide me over. Thanks for having me here, Three Musketeers, and thanks for watching. You guys just see what's in my bag. This beautiful bag, you can get it on shenyun.com. I love it. This says grace here, and Chinese is ya. It's very meaningful. See you guys next time.